Hello everyone and welcome to this Windows channel. I've uh, decided to update my Malwarebytes video because uh, they've actually done a new version and I have not talked about the new Malwarebytes version in a, a, you know since it's been out. So um, once again, for those that don't know, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware is one of the great pieces of software that I think every PC user needs in his computer. It's a fantastic piece of software to remove, detect and remove malware and uh, Trojans and all kinds of viruses. Now it is better with a real antivirus. So for example, in my machine, I run the uh, Windows Defender antivirus that I of course have working all the time. This is my basic protection in my machine. And um, I add Malwarebytes anti-malware and actually uh, scan my computer uh, once a week with uh, Malwarebytes. I think it's a good practice. And uh, especially if you have a basic protection, you know, free antiviruses are good. But I must admit that they're not as good as some paid antiviruses. But I still think, you know, even the basic protections like the Windows Defender or maybe AVG Free or um, Avast are still good protections. But you add this to the mix and once a week you scan, I think it really makes a great secure computer. So the software is available to malwarebytes.org, malwarebytes.org. And of course, there's a premium version there's a free version. The difference is premium version has an active detection, meaning that while you're going on the web and while you're using a computer, it's actually uh, like an antivirus, always checking for malware. The free version uh, does not have that live scanning tool. It is a manual tool that you actually scan your computer with all the time. So if you really enjoy it, I think the premium version is worth buying but uh, you can just download the free version and uh, make sure that you download the free version of it because once you click free version there's often there's a I remember if I click free version yeah you've got this little uh, window sometimes they show a um, a window of you know free or paid and they give you details of what's the difference now you see the website where I am and you see what it looks like and that's what I want to make sure that you could see that it's like this because Malwarebytes has one major problem and it's that if you're infected with viruses, because this is not Malwarebytes fault, but it's the fact that if you are infected with viruses, a lot of malware I've noticed have a tendency to replace the Malwarebytes web page with something else. So once you are here and you click download free version, you should see that the file downloaded is mbam-setup-a number. It's very important that you check that it's that. If it's not, it does, if it doesn't start with mbam, m-b-a-m, setup, you're now downloading the right thing. And it does happen. I've seen this on many computers where my clients had like a lot of malware on it. Often when you click the download, free version and brings you to another page so be very careful that what you're downloading is correct if it doesn't seem to work download it from another computer that's correct put it on a USB thumb drive and then uh, install it from that install also uh, one of the problems that I've seen if you're really really badly infected uh, with viruses when you click the update now button some malware will prevent the updating of the database. And it is made like that just because they want to make sure that you can't remove the virus. So Malwarebytes anti-malware free. Once you've downloaded, installed it, uh, of course, always check for the latest version of database. So make sure that you click update now. And then you click the scan now button. What has changed is now you have the updates check. You've got this new uh, kind of linear line, you know, where you check pre-scan operation, scan memory, 
scan startup files in the registry. So now you have a visual of where actually the computer is in its um, you know, check of malware on the computer. So it's very important that um, you see this. This is as change basically because it was not like this uh, before. And so that's why I wanted to make the uh, check. And uh, once you've actually uh, scanned your computer, if it detects objects, then you'll have a list of different objects that it detects. And you all you have to do is put the little check mark and make sure that you, uh, you know, quarantine everything or remove everything from your computer. Um, I think the option is quarantine. Now I won't be able to show you because since my computer does not have malware, it's not gonna uh, show anything. But usually what happens is once it's ended, you'll see a list of everything it detected. Make sure that everything's checkmarked and make sure that you click the button that says something like quarantine files uh, or remove the selected files or something like that. And when it's finished, uh, the best you can do is actually restart your computer. That's very important that you restart your computer because by restarting you'll be um, you'll make sure that you know everything it detected will be removed from the computer. So malware bytes, anti malware, a fantastic um, piece of software. Just go to malwarebytes.org and download free version. And like I said, be very careful that you choose the correct uh, free version because it does sometimes, um, you know, malware can send you to another spot. Another little thing that's um, interesting, if you click buying premium now, uh, or even if you download free version, you might be asked to do a 30 day trial. And I've been, a lot of people have been asking me that question saying, well, I've, you know, I, I took the free version. Why does it say that it's expired? That's because when you download the free trial and you install it on the first time that you will start it, it's going to ask you if you want to have a 30 day trial of the premium version. If you don't want to have that, just remove the check mark and then you won't be, uh, you know, notified because a lot of people say, well, it's not free of the 30 days I have to pay. No, that's because you uh, took the 30 day trial of the premium version. Just download the free version and make sure you remove the little check mark of a 30 day trial when you install it. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything that you want to know about Windows, let us know and we'll try to post a video online or help you if we can. So thank you for your visit.